So I'm back at this property, which I came to a few months ago. The one with the landlord next door, he didn't want to do any of the work uh, to the chimney. The chimney is a shared chimney, so it's a shame when that happens because the only ones that lose out are basically the landlord of the the one landlord who's on the other side of that shared chimney and the tenants who have to put with the damp issue that's in their property. Like there was a blocked gutter outside, uh, a hopper, which is like a bucket. A hopper is like a bucket underneath the, the downpipe. Um, and that was always blocking up. Um, and that's due to the fact that there's too many pipes going into it. So that was getting blocked regularly and the walls were just green covered. And what was happening is that water was being sucked and drawn through the brickwork into the kitchen area. But last year, what actually started to happen is that you could see water marks literally on the bottom of the flue, which was the old uh, bricked up flue, which is what the chimney was attached to. So anyway, let's go and have a look. See where the water's come through now, and it has got really bad over the last few months since we were last in here. Uh, so the work that we've done outside with the repointing, and we'll go back outside and just take a look at the wall. So with all this repointing that was done out here, uh, the hopper, that's this thing here, that hopper was unblocked, and that needs regular maintenance, that hopper, because there's a lot of pipes going into that probably more than, than there should be, but with all these houses being converted into student properties now, um, a lot of them are overloaded. So that just needs regular maintenance, regular checking every year to make sure that there's no blockages. But yeah, this point is done. This wall's born dry now, where it was, it was growing the Amazon jungle on there uh, six months ago. So now that's done. And, uh, and now the chimney upstairs has been uh, removed. Uh, yeah, this, uh, treated get it all scraped off and get it painted job will be done uh, and then we'll move on to the next one it's shared the chimney was shared with next door and that's why there's been a bit of a delay on this one because we did write to the, te to the landlord next door uh, unfortunately we do get some cases where the pet the neighbors just don't want to know and the chimney was here okay so where these two vents have been put in one two the chimney was just here so we've taken out the chimney now um, being able to reuse uh, some of the tiles and get some uh, reclaimed tiles. So that's it, job done here. Um, now we're going to move this scaffold in that's coming in here and move it over there because that was the second job on this building that we needed to sort out. We needed to sort out the gable end because those pots on top of the chimney, they're letting in water. When it's raining, they're letting in a lot of water. Um, it's not a functional fireplace anymore um, but it's still open up there so it's not drying out ever uh, and so when it rains very heavily water is going down through those chimney pots so they need to be capped off uh, we're going to leave the chimney because it's a huge chimney that so we're going to leave that chimney as it is uh, just cap it off put some uh, cowls over the top of or, or over the top of the pots and uh, and yeah and, and, and leave it as that so these are all the bricks we've taken down from the chimney and this is what we repaired as well and it's held up quite well but all around here and it's, it's nice and dry as well now hopefully now that chimney's been taken down and now all that pointing's been done we can close off that side of the job and now we've just got to deal with the gable end actually i'm walking away but we've still got this gable end to do and when it's raining really heavily water will be just getting in there i very much doubt it's the gutter uh we did check the gutter and it didn't with with the drone and it did seem empty so i honestly don't think it's the gutter at all i think it is just getting through the chimney when it rains really heavily so we're back here at the property where we had the issue with the chimney and the guys are now see it from the sunroof they're up there now uh just uh removing the pots because uh, they were really wide open Right, let's go and take a look at these guys, see what they're getting up to. Go on, show us that. That's the, that's the umbrella. That's the umbrella. This has got, if it were only that size, it'd be a mushroom. Right, right. It's in the chimney. But that, you bench to here. Right, okay, okay. So right. that lets air all the way around. What's that? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Small but big job, and there's a massive cost in scaffolding. Uh, that's a massive chunk of the, the cost of this job, and people don't take that into account. They just think, you know, 
price just for the living room doing an actual job, but then you've got the scaffolding as well, which depends on what region you're living in. Uh, down south, it's going to be a lot more. You know, up in uh, where I am in Yorkshire, you're looking at anything from um, 600 uh, to 1,000 pounds, anywhere between there would be okay depending on how often you use the, the, the scaffolding firm. Obviously you get reduced rates if you're using them a lot. Uh, but if you, it's a one-off job and you're the one customer, then you're probably likely going to be paying the top end uh, for the scaffold. Uh, but that's what price you'd be looking at in Yorkshire. So that's not a shadow there. That's uh, sun shining. Let me see, try it from a different angle. But there's a hole there. Yeah. So we'll get that filled. Do the light. So that's been filled in now, and uh, the top's been finished. The guys have done labour material and uh, stuff like the scaffolding you see where it's up. Right, let's get down. So that's it, it's done now. Vents are in. Gonna crack on with the next job, but I hope you guys have uh, learned something from this one. The pricing up of a job isn't cheap. Um, depending on what the job is that is, but this job has come to about £4,000, £4,500. You've got scaffold in here, that's £1,100. The reason why it's so much is because we had to pay for a public highways uh, license because the scaffolding is sitting on the public highway. So that was an extra £200. So we've got that, we had that to pay. So the scaffolding was about £800. We've also got to do the gable end, which we've not done yet. So the scaffolding will have to get switched around to the gable end. Then we've got the, the we've got to repaint inside because of all the flaking that was happening inside. So we've got that to do as well. Um, this chimney removal was in the region of 600 to 800 pounds for its removal. Uh, and then we've got the materials as well, the, the wastage, all the bricks that we've got to take away. Uh, so you add all these numbers up and you're looking at around 4,000 to 5,000 pounds just for this job. Oh. Uh, if you're thinking of getting into the buy to let market, it's not as easy as you may think, um, and it's not as profitable as you may think. But yeah, right guys, on to the next job. Let's keep on moving.